once you have all your uh, lectures, all the pieces, all the little video clips that you want recorded, then the next step is to actually publish your file. Now, like I said, normally I end up with 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 videos in my lecture. And in the one that I'm using to record this, I actually have four slides now in my film strip. Right now we've got the title page and we've got the one video that we just um, recorded. But what you'll do next is you have to publish your project. So you go up to File and you go down to P -P Publish and you click on that thing and then you go, oh, like that. Because, dude, I don't know what half this stuff is. I don't have, I don't know. I don't even know, like, dude, I don't know anything. But here's what I do know. I thought that it was better to publish in HTML5 because I thought that it made things more accessible. My hero of ever, Reno Giovanetti, the rock star, has told me that HTML5 has browser issues, which I would totally agree with, and um, that really going the Swiffy route, which, what is a Swiffy? I have no idea. But Swiffy is how I've been publishing for forever. I try, I've been trying to do HTML5, and I'm very relieved that Reno the Rockstar has informed me that, no, I do not have to do HTML5. I can go back to Swiffy land. Disadvantages of Swiffy, it publishes things in Flash version, which I don't even know what that means, but on non-Flash enabled devices, my students can't watch my lecture little package that I end up with which is why I publish all my videos on YouTube as well. So I would select the Swiffy. I export it to a PDF, and I do that so that I can actually upload that into Dropbox. That way students who don't have reliable Internet access can download the PDF file of the whole lecture. They'll get this little piece here, the title page. They'll get every um, video lecture in addition to all the um, table of contents information as well. Um, I don't know what any of that. I publish it to a folder. If you click on this thing, it'll take you to where you want to publish your stuff. So awesome, I'm going to publish it here and I'm going to select this folder. I like to publish it to a new folder because um, it keeps all the pieces together. Like I get an HTML file and I get uh, some other random files that I have no idea what they are. I'll show you them in a second. And then I just click publish. I think that's, oh, I should probably name it something other than fall syllabus um, video lecture. How's that? Maybe we should add tutorial just so I don't get confused, which I guarantee I will get confused. Okay, so am I happy? Yes, I saw this up here while I was getting ready to do this. I could publish as a video. I have no idea what that means. Maybe that just would publish it. I mean, you can mess with that. I'll show you what I end up with so then you know why I do it this way. I am going to start the publishing process, which takes a long time, and hopefully it won't take too long with the way that it's set up here, but I'm going to stop recording while I'm publishing that because I feel like I've got dueling Captivate programs going on and I don't want anything to crash and burn. I don't want to crash and burn. That would suck. All right, so I will be right back with to show you what you get.